I stand by every word that I've said. Hello, fellow coders. Welcome back to the Junior Depth. Today, I'm diving headfirst into like some real talk about the recent drama that went down after my last video. Apparently, I pissed off a few folks and they're acting like I insulted like their favorite coding editor or something. Well, I'm sorry you use VS Code and not like NeoVim or Emacs. But hold on, I didn't say anything about that. So let's clear the air and put a few things straight. Last week, I got real about a bunch of so-called developers on YouTube. And it seems like some people just took it personal. But before you hit me with that OK Boomer moniker, let me just set the record straight. Yes, I'm a Gen Xer, and I've seen a thing or two in my life. And that has given me a no-nonsense attitude. That's it. It's nothing personal i call it like i see it and it doesn't mean i hate the whole damn community and it doesn't even mean i hate any of these so-called content creators even if some of them are full of it i just want to raise the iq a little bit is there something wrong with that if you like my no-nonsense approach be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so before i go any further I did say that Travis from Travis Media needs to grow a pair. And that's because his response was like so Gen Z. Look, I respect any developer who is self-taught, him included, if that is what he is. At least acknowledge that there are people who are not who they say they are. And FYI, I think we're all kind of self-taught developers, aren't we? I mean, did they teach us to code in college? Did they teach us version control and a lot of the other technologies that we use every day? And I had the common courtesy to tell him that I was going to make a video detailing what my concerns were since he wouldn't address them. He can't say he wasn't warned. Last video, I simply gave a buyer beware on the following points. Dodgy practices. There are creators out there who are suggesting things that are riskier than juggling chainsaws on a unicycle. Okay, maybe not that bad. But I'm not here for it. Because we need to look out for our newbies, not send them down a coding rabbit hole of chaos. Stupid stunts. Now some creators are trying to do the digital equivalent of fitting a square peg into a round hole. Torturing a Django project just to work with a NoSQL database for clicks? Seriously? It's like watching a car crash in slow motion. It's pointless and stupid. I'm not saying I prefer relational databases. Django only works correctly with relational databases. That's what I'm saying. Legit developers slip up too. And that's okay. I use TIFF and Tech as an as my illustration to my point not to burn her at the stake honestly she's a real developer who's quite knowledgeable and she creates relevant content that i usually agree with enough with the constant buy my course promo all right i get it you got bills to pay but let's balance it out quality content should speak louder than the never-ending sales pitch and of course there's tech lead now look, I feel bad for him too, okay? He obviously married a gold digger who absconded back to Japan with his son. Now as far as I'm concerned, that's kidnapping, even if it is legal to do. But he has been disingenuous lately. Now maybe that's the depression doing the talking. I don't know. Now, let's give a shout out to some heroes in the dev world who are doing it right. Chuck Severance. Who makes his courses online free for everyone it's a real mvp move and if you're interested check out python for everyone django for everyone etc he has a whole bunch of courses and they are free of charge totally awesome the creators of the cs50 courses you guys are doing god's work as far as i'm concerned my hats are off to you guys bro code Boot camps for multiple languages, helping folks level up their skills without unnecessary drama. And there are probably others that I didn't mention who are doing great work just like these fine people. Look, there are content creators out there who are great teachers. They sell the courses online, but they don't inundate you with them. 
a good example would be developed by Ed. I'd actually think about buying his courses because he doesn't overwhelm me with them and I generally like his content. At the end of the video, he offers his courses and if you'd like to buy them, you're free to do so. Respect. I think I solved my audio problems. This was the majority of the comments I received on my last video. I just finished recording when I realized the problem. I apologize. So one person made a comment and it's something that I've often thought and it didn't occur to me to include in my first video when I was writing the video. Here when they made the comment it was like oh man that should have been in my first video and it's this right here. He came from Nostromsa 3433 I think is how you say it. There is an elitist problem with these hustlers too. They always try to dictate what languages, programs, and frameworks we want to use or what technology we want to use. I couldn't have said it better myself. This is no doubt true. Especially with like the .NET or React cult or the Don't Learn C cult or the Python is a crappy language cult or many other cults out there. And there you have it. Straight up. No BS take on the current situation. But does this change your mind about the first video? I'm not here to sugarcoat things. I'm here to tell you like it is. Leave me a comment in the section below. And let's make this development community better. And until next time, keep coding and stay real.